Hello, this is Dave Kelberg, and this is my reading log number four. For this week's book, I chose The Noisy Paint Box by Barb Rosenstock. Um, it's a book about Kandinsky and his abstract art. He was one of the very first uh, artists that decided to go the abstract route, and he's been one of my favorite artists for many years. I've seen his work before. You know in real life and it's been a real honor to be around some of his paintings and how they speak and the thing all about him but anyways this is kind of a, a biography about his life and how he became the artist that he is um, there's that and then there's kind of his little little drawing of his paint box um, how his parents didn't really want him to be an artist once they did start with the art um, he would do abstract work and they couldn't figure out what he was that he was painting but he could hear the song through the paint and how the painting spoke to him and um, they put him through an art school the art school wanted him to do pictures of flowers and vases and landscapes and that didn't really speak to him so he Kind of turned everything in and became a lawyer. Um, after that, he went to an opera one day and saw colors when he was listening to opera music. So he got back into his painting once again in his life, in his later years, and um, went and studied some of the famous people. And the book tells about how he went. And they did the same thing they did to him when he was a child. They said, you know, this is an art. And... He kind of went his own way, found a couple other artists, and created the uh, abstract art movement. Um, the back of the book gives a little um, artist notes. And then also on the very bottom of the next page, it's got four of his, some of his famous paintings, uh, real life paintings of his. The um, thing that got me in this book was the artwork and how they just the colors in there and when they talk about the colors they have the little wisps you know and the sounds that he's hearing this one it's kind of hard to see but the little wisps that's kind of the music going in the art so um really love the book even you know uh caldecott honor book 2015 i figured four to eight years old on this book um it's got 40 pages um, let's see, uh, I think this book would be good to introduce music and art to children. Uh, I know a lot of schools are cutting art and music out of the specialty programs, but in a classroom, I think it'd be really good and, um, show them what music's about and what's art's about and letting them be what they want to be and who they want to be. That was one of the things I got about this. Is they kept telling him he wasn't an artist because he didn't paint flowers and, you know, landscapes and houses and all that stuff. And, you know, he became one of the most famous artists in the world to me. Um, good activity for this book, I thought, would be um, give the children an art project. Give them paint. Give them crayons. Give them whatever they want. And just let them create for a day. Or, you know, I have to, not a, I know you can't do a whole day of art, but. You know, let them create something. Let them do what they want to do. Don't tell them what they have to paint. Don't tell them, you know, what it is. And let them go. And when they're all done, they can write a little description about what they felt, how the painting made them feel, and, you know, all that. So I really love this book. And just as a side note, here's a picture of my wife next to a painting by Kandinsky, Blue Crest, that we went to see when we were in St. Petersburg at the Hermitage. Um, so anyways, that's just personal. I love paintings. I love art. So this book really got to me, really made me, I really loved it. So thank you much. See you next week.